Welcome to the Armchair Adventures Travel Agency, Journeys of the Imagination. I'm head travel agent and host, Connie. On an armchair adventure, you can go anywhere you like. On an armchair adventure, imaginations fly. When we left off last time, we were stuck in the future and it wasn't looking good. I was given a presentation at the Junior Presentation Championships. But it was so awkward, nobody was interested. That was terrible, Canty. I thought if I jumped to the future and saw myself being successful, then I'd have more confidence doing the presentation. But we hadn't done any work to help build your confidence yet. Of course you weren't ready. We need to go back to where we were, on a train in the 1960s, on our way to Loughborough, so that you can start your first day at college. I don't know if we can now we are in the future. We might be stuck here forever. Then we need everybody's help. Adventurers, are you ready to tap the bat on the floor three times to get us back? Tap it with me. One, two, three. To the 60s! Oh, thank goodness. We're back. That's a relief. The cricket bat isn't a toy, Connie. If you aren't ready now, you won't be ready in the future. I know that now. Sorry, everyone. We'll only travel when we're ready. Adventurers, this is Kanti, our second competition winner. We've used his cricket bat to travel through time to see him when he was younger, in Tanzania and England in the 60s. Oh, the food trolley. My favourite part of the train journey. I'll have a cuppa and some chocolate fingers. Would anyone else like anything? Have you any sardine sandwiches? Yeah, I'm Ronnie Polly. What would you like from the trolley on a long train journey, adventurers? A packet of nuts. Galaxy chocolate bar, please. I'll have a spam sandwich, please. I'll have a caramel chocolate. I'll have a Mars bar, please. I'll have a lion bar duo and a drink of Impto, please. I'd have a cold Fanta, please. Got any biscuits? Yum. I'll have a cup of tea, please. Canty? And one for me too, please. Anyway, where were we? I was invited to speak at the Junior Presentation Championships. That happens whenever I mention the championships. I originally said no because I'm so shy and don't like speaking in front of people, especially other teenagers. But Canty did scarier things when he was my age and that inspired me. So I changed my mind and agreed. But when I saw all the other really clever speakers, I panicked and used the bat to go to the future. But my presentation wasn't ready. And now I think I should just back out because I just can't do it. And now you're up to date. Connie, you can do it. We just need to get you ready. I don't know where to start. At the beginning. How did Armchair Adventure get going? Well... It was during the pandemic. My customers couldn't leave their houses and we wanted to do something together as a community. So, we started meeting over group telephone chat. Our chats were a lifeline. And you convinced us all to come on board adventures of our imaginations. In the hardest of times, we were having a laugh. And now, look at all the adventures we've been on together. With all of you and with our adventurers at home. You have wonderful skills, Connie. You bring people together. And inspire others. Oh, you guys. So, that's your story. Where you started, what you did, and where you ended up. Really, Connie? Look how far you've come. I bet if someone had told you when this all started what you'd achieve, you wouldn't believe them. Maybe not. You're bound to inspire everyone you're presenting to as well. What about you, adventurers? Imagine you were doing a presentation. What would you speak about? Something you're passionate about? I love golf. Sketching. I like to help animals. I love athletics. I love doing artwork. I'm good at doing races. Harry Potter books. I'd speak about coding. These are great. If only I was able to speak in front of people. You're speaking in front of us. Yeah, but you're my friends. Just imagine, everyone at the championships are your friends too. It's easy for you. You're so good at this, Kanti. Only because I've had years of practice. 
We should see how terrified I used to be. Could we? Yes, come on. Let's meet my younger self giving my first speech as secretary of Fashion Cricket Club. Okay, adventurers, cricket bats at the ready. One, two, three, to Ashton Cricket Club. The audience are in their seats. The auditorium is dark. Before we see younger Cantor giving his speech, let me tell you about another podcast I like. Hello? Is anybody here? What is this? Two kids, a robot, and a missing professor. <gasps> I think this is it. The big lab is right over there. My home. Sometimes it's hard to believe you're a robot. You humans amaze me. Listen to Ben and Sophie. We'll be secret on SpokenMovieProject.com or wherever you get your podcasts. Now, back to our armchair adventure. Where's younger Canty? There I am. Oh, yes. Why is your back to the audience? Because I was so scared. I turned away from the audience asked for the lights to be turned off and I'm holding my nose. You'd be so much better than this, Connie. I wouldn't be so sure. Oh, younger Kanti, I wish you'd say hello to the audience. Shh, the audience will hear you. They can't hear us. The magic doesn't work like that. I want to tell myself to relax. There are only people. I look so nervous and awkward. You don't stand still. You're shuffling from side to side. You're not talking very loudly either. I can barely hear what you're saying. You seem very hesitant. I forgot that people wanted to hear what I was saying. What use is mumbling and being uncertain? You were right. You were so different back then to how you are now. I told you. I really want you to believe in yourself. I want to tell you we're all rooting for you and to just do your best. Exactly. The audience wants you to do well. I don't want anybody watching me to feel uncomfortable. So how would you do it differently? I'd start by facing the audience and saying good evening. And I'd throw away those notes I'm holding. Make eye contact with people. And keep your head up. Crack a joke. Show the audience you feel comfortable. Come on then, adventurers. Let's pretend you're making a speech. Look people in the eye and say, Good evening, my name is... Then your name. And tell us a joke. Good evening, my name's Lewis. And knock knock. Who's there? Done up. Done up who? You just said you've done a poo, mate. Good evening, my name is Max. Why did the students eat their homework? Because the teacher said it was a piece of cake. Good evening. My name is Jessica. What do you call a deer with no eyes? No idea. Hi, my name's Ava. And why did the cow cross the road? To go to the movies. Hi, good evening. My name's Ikra. What do you call a bear with no teeth? A gummy bear. (laughs) They're so funny. I'm going to remember some of those. And don't forget, it's okay to make mistakes. We know you're human. That's true, Hazel. You do a lot of amateur operatics, so you know a lot about breathing exercises and how to make your voice loud. Can you teach us? Could you show us a voice warm-up? Yes, of course. OK, if you put both of your hands, fingertips touching, just below your rib cage, then breathe into where your hands are and breathe out with a big ha. <sighs> Ready, adventurers? <sighs> Another deep breath. This time, let it out on ba. Ba. Now, let's try warming our mouths up. We'll use a tongue twister to help with our pronunciation so we can clearly say our words. Now, repeat after me. One, one was a racehorse. Everybody? One, one was a racehorse. Two, two was one, two. Two, two was one, two. When one, one won one race. 
When 1111 race, 22112. 22112. Now, can you do it at speed, adventurers? 1111 race fast. 22112 Where 1111 race 22112 Oh, that was great. Thank you, Hazel. I can already feel the difference. What do you think about giving a speech now, Connie? I'm pumped. This time, I'm definitely ready. I don't want to wait. If I could do it right now, I'd smash it. Why wait? We have a time-traveling cricket bat, remember? You had already showed us we can travel to the future. Awesome! Ready to tap the cricket bat one more time, adventurers? One, two, three. To the Junior Presentation Championships! Will you come on stage with me, adventurers? You can do your speeches too. <clears throat> Good evening. My name's Connie. Sometimes you might feel like there's things you just can't do And you can't find the confidence that's hidden inside you Even when you're stumped, don't feel down in the dumps Cause you can do anything Maybe you might find a talent you've got inside But you will never know if you don't give things a try So don't give up, your best is good enough Cause you can do anything So stand tall, give it all you've got Don't worry what others say Cause people will be there to help you along So face your fears and do it anyway Believe, you can do it Take a leap, take a breath with me You won't let anybody down So don't be scared, believe By sharing my imagination along with my customers here. That's us she's talking about. I'm missing what she said. And going to different worlds, I learned more about myself and the world we live in. And you can too. 
Thank you. What an amazing reaction from the audience. Come on, everybody. Let's take a bow. That was fantastic, Connie. You could hear a pin drop. Your enthusiasm really showed. You were so inspiring. Thank you, everyone. I didn't believe I'd be able to do that. But when you showed me it's all about telling your story, talking about what you're passionate about and sharing it confidently, I realised I had everything I needed to feel brave. How did your speech go, adventurer? The audience seemed to love it. The best my breathing grew, the more my confidence grew. I didn't stop believing in myself. I was nervous at first, but then I loved it. People really understood what I was talking about. Well done, adventurers. How do you feel now, Connie, after you have faced your fear? Really glad that I did it. Thank you all for encouraging me. I now know that people don't have to be born confident, but if you're prepared, then you can feel confident. You certainly looked it, not a hint of nerves. Thank you. And thank you, Canty, for sharing your story with us. I would never have recognised you as a young, uncertain person. It was a brilliant adventure. I had a lot of fun too. I never would have dreamed I could visit my younger self, especially by travelling with a cricket bat. It was magical. It was great to meet you, Canty. You and your younger selves. And to meet all of you. I really enjoyed our adventure. I've learned a lot. I'd be excited to give a speech myself now, if I had to. It was fabulous to travel through time and see places I'd never been to. Brilliant. I suppose I should let you all get off home. It was amazing to meet you, Canty. I'll see you all soon for another adventure. Bye, everybody. Goodbye, Connie. See you next see time. See you soon. Bye. Bye. And call now. <sighs> I love that. Thanks so much for joining in, adventurers. Before you go, adventurers, don't forget to follow or subscribe to Armchair Adventures. And if you're listening on Apple Podcasts, then please leave us a rating and review, and we'll read out some more next time. See you soon, adventurer. Love you guys. All around your adventure You can go anywhere you like All around your adventure Imaginations fly You've been listening to a Made by Mortals production supported by the Arts Council of England. Thank you.